Okay. Hey, everyone. This is Yogini Priyanka from Ontario, Canada, and you're so welcome to this show, which is Divine Dialogue. And I'll be posting this recording soon on YouTube and on Facebook. So let's welcome our guest, Elizabeth, to this show. Elizabeth, you're so very welcome this lovely morning. And uh, yes. Thank you, Priyanka. It's a pleasure to be here. And um, I'm not sure where everyone is watching from, but I can tell you right now here, we are looking at minus 25 degree temperature. So it's a very mm. frigid, cold day and we had a major snowstorm last night. So wow. it's gonna be a, it's a good day today. It's not snowing anymore. So that's great. Uh -huh. anyway, that's amazing. Um, yeah, so yeah, so thanks for having me and- um, Beautiful. You know, and I want to acknowledge you, you always show up, show up on time and then show up that there, there is a consistency uh, and there is integrity, like you always honor your words. That is something, you know, I see you as and then you, that's your natural being, normal being, the way of being that it, it is so natural to you. But I know some of us may be struggling you know, to show up when, when the, when the weather is not good, when the yeah. health is not good, or, you know, how to get away, you know, how to fulfill our words and be our words. It's, it's a major thing. It's like, it's a strong thing, which I want to acknowledge you for. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I do try. Um, you know, it's, it's really easy though. A lot of times, like you say, especially, you know, it's like, especially yesterday the weather was just horrible here like horrible and yeah. it's really easy to retreat into your safe little home and you know kind of hunker down and that's okay too right that's okay. it's okay to let yourself do that that's sure. and but also it's really important to you know sort of at least face or do the the basics of what it is that you're focused on so yeah. you know and of course there's different aspects to your life right it's not just work it shouldn't be just work <laughs> yeah that, that reflects you know how committed you are to your work that no matter what uh and in the adverse situations like yesterday, Strom and uh, minus 25 degree, even now, I know we have cozy structure inside, but you have to, you know, see all around you. So that's a big commitment. And it, it's not just the, wor the work, it's your commitment, which you're living up to. Yeah, well, I personally believe in balance in life. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a Libra, so maybe that's... <laughs> We like balance. <laughs> <laughs> I I can imagine, you know, I have one Libra at my home, my daughter, you know, how much she loves that. And she is, I can see her. She is all about that. <laughs> so no wonder, no wonder why you are. Be, it's really interesting, I think. Um, it would be very interesting from our viewers to find out, you know, what their sign is and how closely they relate to their sign. I'm not necessarily a big you know believe it or not no but i it's it's i find it really interesting because that honestly is totally me to find balance in my life and i mean there's <laughs> there's a lot of different things that i love to do and yeah. uh, so and who are not libra and they are struggling with balance what advice would you give to them um i think um, maybe compartmentalize your life a little bit, you know, uh, find areas in your life that you want to have balance in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your home life, is that important to you? Your family, right? Your kids, um, you know, your physical being, what are you doing physically for yourself, whether that yeah. be exercise uh -huh. or, uh, what you're putting into your body. So, you know, make that part of, of, a focus for yourself yeah um your work of course that's important we all have to find purpose in life and find something that's fulfilling yeah and 
that can make a difference in other people's lives. That's important to me. That might not be important to everyone, but for me, it's, you know, it's important to know that you're making a difference. And, yeah. and then on the leisure side of things, you know, what, what do you, what do you love to do? I <clears throat> have to say going through this whole period with COVID and everything and shutdowns and <laughs> you know, not being able to see people as much as you normally would have. Yeah. Um, I started focusing on doing, I started to develop art, right? I love yes. the idea of being creative. Creativity to me is huge. Mm -hmm. So that's an aspect of my life. So you kind of have to carve out some of that. For me, that's what I do. Just carve out time in your day to um, make those things happen. Yeah. And then, so yeah, yeah, carry on. Please. No, no, go ahead. You were going to ask. What I'm hearing from you is like you will have to have, you know, find out what, what your passion is and then find how to, you know, the question was how to bring the balance and how to be disciplined and then be your word, irrespective of outer external stimuli or situations. And yeah. from you, I'm hearing if you have a passion to, you know, of what you're doing and that is related to contributing to a larger community, not those trillion cells which are there in your body, of course, it starts from there. So those who are who, who have a, a desire to take care of their selves, themselves, and their family only. So they, there is a purpose, there is nothing wrong in that, because then also you're taking care of trillions of being. So you, your body is made up of trillions of cells. So first, if you're taking care of you, and doing it successfully, then you will be, you will be somebody who's eminent and powerfully uh, set themselves uh, balance at a place where, or it's like inspired, you know, once you have fulfilled your goals, your necessities, uh, then you are able to help others. So Elizabeth, I see you at a place where you have taken care of yourself, your family, now your, your uh, greater desire or your greater goal is to help the community. So once you're doing it for your, like you mentioned during the, the Christmas that you were uh, gathering some gifts for others. Yes. So it's like, it's a big thing once you contribute to your community and our community is first those trillion cells in the body. If you're taking care of yes. just yourself, that is also like you're taking care of something like not doing anything, making this wrong, that wrong, weather wrong, or outer stimuli wrong, then doing something and taking small steps. Then once you have done that, the next stage would be you'll take care of your family, your neighborhood, and then the larger communities, which we, we all are connected, whether you're watching this show from India or Bangladesh, Bhutan, USA, Australia, like, you know, all the countries, wherever you are from and you're watching us. So now the bigger community is through this program, we are reaching out to so many people. And intention is what have we gotten out from this time and getting out and setting ourselves, disciplining. We just before the show, we were talking about how to make it more um, more reachable, more productive for people so that we are not just sitting, sitting here and talking. Like we, yeah. we, this is not scripted program and will never be, but then topics will be set in future so that you can, you know, participate. You can come to live uh, on the Zoom um, and you, you have all the freedom to turn your cameras on or off uh, and there could be a live Q&A in future. So what I'm getting out from Elizabeth that you have to have a passion, which is a desiring force, a trigger that, okay, where, you know, which will make you to ignore or to stand strong um, in front of outer external stimuli, no matter what it is. So this is what I'm hearing. And that is a big thing. Well, uh, just on your point, as far as, you know, you have to love yourself first. Absolutely. Before you can even give out that Absolutely. love, right? 100%. The love to the community, to others, is an overflowing of the love within. Amazing. I love that. Um, 
So yeah, so and passion, of course, you know, where does that passion come from? That's an inspiration from within. Yeah. And, Beautiful. That's um, amazing. And, and that's I think where true joy comes from. Because joy isn't circumstantial. Absolutely. Right? Uh-huh. Joy is something that is within that you can it's bring within. to others. You know, that um, brings me to, you know, even if you fall down when you're, when you're around your friends, you're in school bus, or you are just walking with them, and then you, you're falling down, you're like, you know, you're having pain, but then you're laughing. So the, the, yeah. the joy comes irrespective of any external things. It comes, it comes with people around you or like the way of your being uh, triggers that joy up irrespective yeah. of what however the external condition is you so can I, I have a question yeah. for others um yeah. what has inspired you like going through these last couple of years is there something within you that you have developed that otherwise you may not have had the time to do amazing that, yeah. right so um I, I i find that you know within every cloud there is that silver lining and we need to look for that and there are blessings within all of this that's happening now so let's focus on that it really comes down to what you want to focus on and then with that focus what kind of so okay you know let's just say even your your work or your business right if you have a a focus and and that's not even necessarily goals, but a focus that you want to achieve or Mm -hmm. something that you would desire. You have to sort of break that down into some activities actually that, you know, that would create what it is that you desire. So with that, you know, kind of break it down and do like a daily, I had this conversation actually last night with a group of ladies about developing a daily method of operation right especially when it comes to work um because yeah face it if you're working there's certain uh areas that you definitely need to achieve right in order Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. feel at least that you have that success that you're desiring so yeah but it comes down to you know every day doing something right just yeah, what I'm hearing is like, it's planning and doing things yeah. according to plan. No, and like, you know, just if it's in your head and you want to do it. So I, on, you know, on Facebook today, I had a post, uh, I have tagged you that are you, uh, are you thinking about your goals and what you're looking, you know, you, you want to achieve from your life. And then I brought down to the goals because this is the time of the year when, you know, on on New Year Eve, we made some goals. And then daily, we make some goals. And what will cause that goals to be successful or a failure? It's like if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Yeah. I think. That is- if you have a dream, but you don't have a plan to put that dream in, become a reality, it's just a wish. Yeah. And it's like, you know, law of attraction, you're attracting things. Of course, you're attracting things. No wonder you are here in this show. And you are, you know, all the viewers who are just watching this show now. So no wonder like why you're here. So the important piece you're getting from, we want you to get from here is like plan and do the action. Like after planning, if you're just sitting and seeing and, and, uh, you know, waiting for some miracle to happen, you have to take actions. Yeah. And from the, the, those actions, you will build up something. You will build those muscles up. One day you will fail. Second day you will fail. Third day you fail. How long can you fail? But then day one, if you, are, you, know, if you have 10 things in your calendar or agenda or on your whiteboard or however you are keeping a track of that, out of those 10, 10 things, if you, if you have done two or three things out of those 10 things, you still have you know, you have less work tomorrow. You have yes. just seven things to accomplish and you can celebrate those two or three things. So yeah. I think you're right. Like, like do it um, sometimes, I don't know. I personally sometimes 
the whole goal thing kind of sometimes freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. But if you just break it down on a day-to-day -day basis, just yes. do what you can do and let and let go of what the results are, right? Really. And just as long as you're doing what you should be doing, then yeah. the results will look after themselves. Yeah. And I want to include something here. So like in my yoga practice, I, you know, how we train muscles, whatever you can do, just do, do two, three seconds more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Stretch yourself. Stretch right? yourself. This is how you grow. But at the same time, in pranayama, we do little lesser than what we can because we don't want to damage. So there is a fine line. Yeah, there when is. To a, stop and then to go <laughs> and to stretch yourself. So how can you get that? Like there are, there are so many programs available for you on YouTube, Insta, Facebook, but you know, you have to know how to search for it and then search for within what I want from today. So that's the thing. And why I'm saying all these things or why it's coming out of my mouth, uh, one of uh, your program had mentioned lean certificate and a couple of our viewers, they have sent us a question like, what is this lean? How can I do that? What is the eligibility for that? I was like, I will definitely ask Elizabeth next time that please throw some light on this. Okay. Um, I belong, I am a partner with uh, the Juice Plus company, which is all about whole food nutrition. And mm -hmm. I was at a conference and one of our doctors that um, really uh, promotes uh, Juice Plus and, and health and nutrition um, is Dr. Bill Sears. I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but he is a world renowned pediatrician. He has written like over 30 books on uh, children's health. Um, but he had developed this program called Lean. And Lean stands for lifestyle, right? The way that you live, mm -hmm. exercise, the way that you move, whatever that might be, mm -hmm. attitude, right? How are you thinking? Yeah. And nutrition, right? What are you putting into your body? So those are sort of the four key areas that he touches on in this program. And so he was offering this uh, certified health coach uh, program, which I felt would really um, round out my own education on what I had already learned mm -hmm. just by being involved with Juice Plus, because we have amazing doctors that share yeah. their expertise, and mm -hmm. he was one of them. And so I, I checked it out and I thought, you know what, I need to just kind of round out my own education on different areas. And so the program, oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> the program um, is really more designed to be an educational piece for others, right? So uh, to go out to different community uh, events and stuff and share um, good health with and family health, right? So he kind of broke it down. There's the basic program, which is the general, he calls it essentials, right? Yeah. And he also has a program, um, and it's this one, uh, Prime Time Health for Senior. Wow. Oops. <laughs> yeah, prime time health for seniors. And I love that. It, uh -huh. it was, there was so much great information in there, mm -hmm. uh, especially for seniors around, um, you know, inflammation, um, you know, how to get moving as a senior, what can you do, and um, explaining what uh, opening up your pharmacy within, right? Your body has a pharmacy within. Sure. How do you open that up? And that's actually a topic I'd love to kind of delve into a little bit. Yeah, more. let that be the next topic if you are, you know. Yeah. And how to make, especially, you know, as you get into those more senior years. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how to make your health your hobby right yeah 
And so anyway, it's, it was excellent. There was some really great information in there and it was all online. So anybody can really take it. You don't have to have credentials behind you. Amazing. And I just, I didn't utilize it the way that he intended to by going mm-hmm. out. I, well, I shouldn't say that. I did use this information a lot in a group that I'm involved with, with yeah. a bunch of women. So I did mm-hmm. share uh, educational pieces on a weekly basis from mm-hmm. this, which mm-hmm. was really valuable and, and they loved it. Right. So, um, but yeah, but there's a lot of different ways that yeah. it could have been used yeah. that because, you know, there was special request, uh, you know, from the viewers <laughs> know about this. So and I'm happy that you, you explained it so well. And there, there is only, not only one aspect of, uh, the, as we, you know, in the last program, we explain, we talk about the healthy pillars of the pillars of good health. Yes. And it's not four, it can be five, it can be seven. So like yes. more pillars you have, the foundation well, stronger. Yes. So it's not uh-huh. one aspect. It's not the nutrition or exercise. It's the way you see things. It's holistic, right? It's holistic. It's holistic. Everything is part of you know, works together. So it works together. There has to be a Libra in it. Yeah. (laughs) That's right. And he also does a a segment like for children, right? Getting children Mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, from an early start to really develop those healthy lifestyle habits as well. That's amazing. That's amazing. So um, let's sum this up the whole episode where we just had interaction around this balancing, making your goals, planning things around, taking action, and law of attraction thing works when you do all these things. And then to, to be balanced, you can always be resourceful. Like uh, Elizabeth went to this course where she is part of the Juice Plus company. I am also part of that I'm using. And this is how Elizabeth and I, like we met together and randomly online. So the many people, they say, uh, oh, internet is a burden. It's, uh, you know, you are too much on internet and all. But then if you're focused, if you have time that, okay, half an hour, I will browse. And then your focus, your intentions clear, then you will, you will be spending quality time there. You will get something. And then on Sunday, I just watch the dance, the the dancing videos, or I dance over, you know, with them. I make remakes with them, which I love, which is like, you know, behind the scene thing of me. You know, this is how I get connected with the community. So sum up, it's like law of attraction works. I got this dimple because of law of attraction. And now like while seeing it, it's like, yeah, this was my achievement. Did I do something for it? I just I just keep thinking about this. This wasn't there in my previous pictures. So if you'll see. Oh, really? <laughs> this is, it wasn't there since childhood. And I, I, I think it's like, it's not that deep, but then it's, it's as deep as my intentions were. That time. <laughs> well, we can see it, so. You can see it. And I'm like, yeah. you know, on purpose, I was laughing, uh, you know, so this thing that, so that it's visible. And then planning your things is important. Um, Making a schedule is important. And then how you're seeing things is important. And we will be coming uh, for with more um, more talks like this so that we can, you know, share our share our knowledge with you, our experience with you. This is what our intention is. And what would be the next topic, Elizabeth? You were picking up from here. Oh my gosh. Well, I was thinking actually about children's health. Children's health. Because right now, you know, kid, you know, that's <laughs> going on and they are very mm-hmm. much exposed. Mm-hmm. I think it would be really um, great to talk about that. And Amazing. What are some good solutions for them to protect them? Beautiful. So I'll I'll update the doc and then I'll update the people in Facebook with this topic and a couple of more topics so that you can uh, join us. Jackson Tukpa is here in the room from Bhutan. So he has sent the the uh, the intention to be on this program. I don't know how's the electricity and uh, you know 
uh, the power back up there. But it is the end of the program and we are going to leave, uh, just say bye to all of you and take care of your health. And thank you so much, Elizabeth, for coming oh, here. Thank you for having me and thanks for hosting. So everyone have a wonderful day. Beautiful. Thank you all. We'll see you next Tuesday. Okay. <laughs>